Self-discipline is often regarded as the cornerstone of personal growth and success. It's the ability to control one's impulses, emotions, and actions in pursuit of long-term goals and values. While many sources provide advice on building self-discipline, few can match the timeless wisdom of Gautama Buddha, the enlightened teacher whose teachings have inspired millions for centuries. In this video, we'll delve deep into Gautama Buddha's spiritual teachings to understand how we can cultivate self-discipline in our lives. We'll explore the core principles of Buddhism, including mindfulness, attachment, and the Eightfold Path, and how they can be applied to develop self-discipline. By the end of this journey, you'll have valuable insights and practical tools to transform your life through self-discipline. Just as Gautama Buddha's teachings have transformed the lives of countless individuals. The Essence of Self-Discipline Before we dive into Gautama Buddha's teachings, let's establish a clear understanding of what self-discipline is and why it is essential. Self-discipline is the ability to resist immediate temptations and distractions in favor of long-term goals and values. It's the inner strength that enables us to stay on course even when faced with adversity. Gautama Buddha's teachings emphasize the importance of self-discipline as a means to overcome suffering and attain enlightenment. He believed that the path to liberation from suffering begins with mastering the self. Here are some fundamental principles of self-discipline as taught by Gautama Buddha. Understanding Desire Buddha recognized that desires and cravings are at the root of suffering. Self-discipline starts with understanding our desires and learning to moderate them. By doing so, we can avoid being controlled by our impulses. Right Effort In his teachings, Buddha introduced the concept of right effort. This involves making a conscious effort to cultivate positive qualities and eliminate negative ones. Self-discipline requires consistent and diligent effort in this regard. Mindfulness Gautama Buddha placed great importance on mindfulness, the practice of being fully present and aware in the moment. Mindfulness allows us to observe our thoughts, emotions, and actions without judgment, making it easier to make disciplined choices. Detachment One of the central tenets of Buddhism is detachment from worldly attachments and desires. This doesn't mean renouncing all possessions, but rather not letting them control us. Self-discipline involves maintaining a healthy detachment from material desires. The Power of Mindfulness Mindfulness, as taught by Gautama Buddha, is a profound practice that can significantly enhance our self-discipline. It involves paying attention to the present moment, cultivating awareness of our thoughts and emotions, and fostering a deep understanding of our inner workings. Practicing Mindfulness Buddha often used meditation as a tool for mindfulness. By sitting in a quiet place and focusing on your breath, you can train your mind to be present. The practice of meditation can help you develop the discipline to remain focused and undistracted. Observing Desires and Cravings Mindfulness enables us to observe our desires and cravings without immediately acting on them. When you become aware of a desire, take a moment to reflect on it. Is it something that aligns with your long-term goals and values, or is it merely a fleeting impulse? By pausing to consider, you gain the power to choose your response. Understanding the Nature of Suffering Through mindfulness, we can gain insight into the nature of suffering, which is caused by our attachments and aversions. By observing our reactions to various situations, we can identify the patterns that lead to suffering and work on breaking free from them. Cultivating Patience Self-discipline often requires patience as it involves resisting immediate gratification for a greater purpose. Mindfulness can help you develop the patience to stay the course and endure difficulties on your path to self-improvement. The Eightfold Path to Self-Discipline Gautama Buddha's teachings on self-discipline are encapsulated in the Eightfold Path, a comprehensive guide to ethical and mental development. The Eightfold Path consists of eight interconnected steps that lead to the end of suffering and the cultivation of self-discipline. Right View Understanding the fundamental truths of life, including the nature of suffering and the impermanence of all things, equips us to make disciplined choices aligned with our values. Right Intention Cultivating intentions of goodwill, compassion, 
and non-harming sets the tone for our actions and is crucial for building self-discipline. Right speech. Emphasizing honest, kind, and constructive communication extends self-discipline to our words. Right action. Acting ethically and in line with our values promotes self-discipline by choosing actions that benefit our well-being and that of others. Right likelihood. Choosing work that aligns with our values supports self-discipline by avoiding compromises on ethical principles. Right effort. The diligent and continuous effort to cultivate positive qualities and eliminate negative ones is key to self-discipline. Right mindfulness. Being fully aware and present in each moment helps make conscious choices rather than reacting impulsively. Right concentration. Training the mind to focus strengthens our ability to stay focused on our goals, a vital aspect of self-discipline. Detachment and self-discipline. Detachment is a central concept in Gautama Buddha's teachings and plays a crucial role in the development of self-discipline. When we are attached to material possessions, relationships, or desires, we become vulnerable to the fluctuations of life, leading to suffering. Understanding Attachment Attachment is the root cause of impulsive actions and undisciplined behavior. Being attached to something can lead to distress when it changes. The Middle Way Buddha taught the Middle Way as a balanced path between extreme indulgence and extreme asceticism. Finding the middle ground in desires and attachments allows us to maintain self-discipline without denying life's essentials. Letting Go Detachment doesn't mean renouncing everything, but rather letting go of our attachment to them. Appreciating the impermanence of all things frees us from the grip of attachment and enhances our self-discipline. The Four Noble Truths Another foundational teaching of Buddhism, the Four Noble Truths, helps us understand suffering and its causes. By recognizing the causes of suffering, we can work on alleviating them, requiring a high degree of self-discipline. Applying Gautama Buddha's teachings to daily life Now that we've explored the principles of self-discipline as taught by Gautama Buddha, let's discuss how to apply these teachings in our daily lives. Meditation Practice Begin a regular meditation practice to cultivate mindfulness and concentration. Start with just a few minutes each day and gradually increase the duration. Meditation will help you become more aware of your thoughts and emotions, making self-discipline easier to maintain. Reflect on your intentions. Before making decisions or taking action, pause and reflect on your intentions. Are they in line with your values and long-term goals? Developing the habit of examining your intentions enables more disciplined choices. Practice detachment. Identify areas in your life where you may be excessively attached, whether to possessions, relationships, or desires. Work on letting go and embracing the impermanence of all things. This will free you from the grip of attachment and enhance your self-discipline. Mindful consumption. Be mindful of what you consume physically and mentally. Pay attention to the quality of the food you eat, the media you consume, and the information you take in. Consuming mindfully can lead to better health and mental clarity, supporting self-discipline. Cultivate patience. Recognize that self-discipline is a journey, and it may take time to see significant changes in your life. Be patient with yourself and avoid self-criticism. Celebrate small victories along the way to stay motivated. Seek community and guidance. Consider joining a community or seeking guidance from a spiritual teacher or mentor who can provide support and guidance on your path to self-discipline. Sharing your journey with others can be motivating and enriching. Gautama Buddha's spiritual teachings offer profound insights into the development of self-discipline. By understanding the nature of desire, practicing mindfulness, following the Eightfold Path, embracing detachment, and applying these principles to daily life, we can embark on a transformative journey of self-discipline. Self-discipline is not a destination but a lifelong pursuit. It is the key to breaking free from suffering and realizing our full potential. As you incorporate Gautama Buddha's teachings into your life, remember that self-discipline is a path to inner freedom, clarity, and lasting happiness. May your journey be inspired by the wisdom of the Enlightened One, and may you find the self-discipline to create the life you aspire to lead.